Hey guys, welcome to My Airbags. I'm Eli, and right now we are going to remove the airbag control module out of this Chevy Camaro. For the Chevy Camaro, you're going to need a flathead screwdriver, a socket wrench, along with a 10 millimeter. As long as you have the socket wrench, you're good to go, but the power drill definitely helps. So the first thing we're gonna do is get right inside the car. You wanna grab your socket wrench with a 10 millimeter, and we're gonna come right up here and start working up these little plastic covers right in the middle. Here, you just wanna kind of give it a nice push outwards and the tabs will kind of come right off like that. Uh, as you can see, nothing broke. It's just these tabs, they kind of pop right off and there's two of them and it was kind of just sitting right in there like this, right in those little holes. And this piece just goes right back on when you're done with it. It kind of just pushes right in there and snaps just like that and it's fine. So again, we're just gonna push up on it like that. These tabs are gonna come off. Put these to the side, grab your socket wrench and with a 10 millimeter, we're gonna start working this one up here and this one down here. There's number one and the next one is right up here. There's a second one. Now we have the same exact setup on this side as well. So we're gonna just apply some pressure on the inside of this panel right here. And it'll come off just like that. Now if you come right over here, we have the same setup, just these two bolts on this side as well. Now those four bolts are the only thing holding the console up up front besides some tabs in the middle. Now we're gonna go to the back seat and start working up the back. Now in the back seat, you want to move the seats up enough so you can see this little part right over here. And you wanna take a small screwdriver and insert it right over here. And then just pry up. And it will just kinda of hang there, just like that little hinge. And right in there, we have another bolt. Now with this one, that bolt is a little set back farther in. So you can use a deep socket, or I'm just gonna put it on my uh, power drill here. There's number one, and then same thing on the driver's side, back seat. There it is, 10 millimeter. Now because it's so set far back in there, you might have trouble getting it out. It's not impossible, but things are a lot easier if you have a magnet. At the end of this flashlight, we have a magnet, but any magnet will work just fine. You just stick it in there, and there you go. So once you have that last bolt out, that's pretty much the last one that's holding the center console to the frame. And we're gonna start working from the back. And I like to just grab the bottom of this side and as well as the other side and just kind of give it a nice pull up. It's gonna come up and over the back seat. Okay, here's what you need to know. When the car gets into an accident, there's three main things that could be causing the light to be on the airbags, the airbag computer module, and the seat belts. Any deployed airbags must be replaced with new airbags. You can buy a new airbag module. The problem is they cost up to a few hundred dollars, plus you have to pay a dealership technician to go in and program it to your car. In other words, you have to marry the new unit to your car. Here at MyAirbags.com, we work closely with body shops, collision shops, and salvage rebuilders in all 50 states. Instead of buying a new airbag computer, we can actually reset your original airbag module. In other words, we clear it of all codes. And because it's original to your car, programming is not necessary. Seatbelts also deploy and they throw trouble codes. Instead of buying expensive replacements, you can actually send in your seatbelts along with your module. Our seatbelt tanks are licensed 
and they hold an ATF certification. This means that after your seatbelts are rebuilt, they will work again as designed. They will deploy in another accident event. Right after I remove this airbag module, stick around and we'll take a peek at the seatbelts. If you wanna know more, just click on the link in the description below or just go to myairbags.com. So kind of gently work it side to side until it comes up right over the back seat here. And then you just kind of want to just lift it up very carefully. You don't want to break anything on the front end. It's flexible to a point. I would actually just leave it right about this far. And then you can actually find something just to lay here to keep this mounted that won't cause any damage to the trim here. So guys, right over here is the module. It's located underneath the center console and it's bolted down to the frame of the vehicle. Anytime we're working with the airbag module, the seat belts or the airbags, anything in the airbag system at all, we want to disconnect the battery from the car. So we're going to follow the correct steps and disconnect the car battery and then the plugs and then the bolts. Now the car battery on the Chevy Camaros are located in the trunk of the car and I went ahead and kind of disassembled it in advance but basically it's held down by some of these fasteners right here that I went ahead and removed with this tool here. If you don't have that, uh, a little flat head will do just fine just to pop them off and once you have them off there's a little panel here that kind of slides out. There's another panel that kind of sits in the back here and over the top of this. It's all pretty straightforward, but once you have everything loosened up and removed, you can then just start working on this part right here. And then you just want to kind of work it down and peel it back just so you can get to the battery. There's the battery right there. Here's one little tab right here. There's another one on this side. Just press on them, squeeze and pull. That will remove. And that's what I'm talking about right there. One here, one here, grab it, pull, and it'll come sliding right off. Right over here is our negative. I'm gonna take my 10 millimeter. Once you have it loosened, just start wiggling it back and forth and pull up. Slide it off and put it completely to the side. Now on the positive side here, we're gonna do the same thing. Now once you have that loosened up, you can just grab both sides of this plastic piece right here and kind of work it so it comes off. And put it to the side. So now that the battery has been disconnected, we're gonna start removing the plugs first. Right up front, you'll see these red tabs right here. Just want to pull down on them this way, just like that. In the front of the lever, you see this black little button here. Just press down on that and then pull the lever at the same time. Press down and the lever will come sliding free. And as the lever slides free, the whole plug harness will remove from the module. There you go. The second one is right here. Like that press down on that black button and then swing the lever over next use your 10 millimeter socket to go ahead now if your car was in an accident and your dealership has told you you need to replace the airbag module you can send it in to myairbags.com for a reset instead of buying a brand new one. We've been doing this since 2006. Many body shops, collision shops, and rebuilders use my airbags. They send in the module and both front seat belts in for a reset. Right now, we're gonna take a brief look at the seat belts. If you're a rebuilder or a body shop or collision shop, you already know that the seat belts do deploy along with the module. They deploy and they lock up and they'll throw a code letting you know you need to replace them. We're going to take a brief look at the setup here. On these Chevy Camaro seat belts, we have a dual stage system, meaning there's two parts that deploys. The first part is right here, right in the seat. Now this is the part that most people overlook because it's kind of a newer system. 
The other cars just have the seatbelt pretensioner, the retractor part that will lock up and deploy. Now most Chevys will have the same setup here. The seatbelt, if you look carefully, it disappears into the seat and it comes down right over here, right below the seat. And it reappears right over here. Called a anchor tensioner right over here. And it also deploys. You can see right over here, it comes in and there's this long cylinder shaped tube that runs right across parallel to the side of the car right there there's a part right in there that deploys and it's connected right there if i move this back just a little you'll see that yellow little plug right there and then you can continue moving it up and you can even remove this panel here it's also linked together right over here you can just kind of remove that part it kind of unscrews and then this part will be free from that part and then you can remove them separate from each other now let's follow the seatbelt back up into the side retractor unit is sits right under here so if we follow the seatbelt right back into the retractor area it sits right on the other side of this panel what you would do is just kind of move this panel up you can just pull it apart there's tabs that hold it down you can take this part up kind of just pop it open just like that and you start seeing this is one part right here that holds it down and it goes down into the side here now on the other side of the pillar you will see where the seat belt retracts into you will also see that plug that yellow plug that's plugged in that's how you know that's the part that deploys once you have that plug unplugged then you can remove the bolts holding down that part as well these seat belts are dual stage and now both front seat belts do deploy they lock up they throw codes you have to replace them or get them professionally rebuilt at myairbags.com. You can put those in a box along with your airbag module. You can go to myairbags.com, select your year, make and model, and then add the parts to the car that you would like to have serviced. Next, just fill out your information, check out. Once you've successfully paid and checked out, you can print out the confirmation barcode and put it right inside the box with your parts. No printer, no problem. You can go ahead and write out your name, address, phone number, and email address. And then just place that information inside the box with your parts. Once we receive the parts here at myairbags.com, we'll process the order, we'll service your parts, we'll ship it out to you within 24 hours. Everything we service comes with a warranty. Hey guys, if you're sitting there with a question in mind, go to myairbags.com and click on help. On there, you can type in a keyword or a question and most likely the right answer will pop up right for you. If it doesn't, we're always here on the phones. You can email us, chat with us, or you can even just text us. We're always here to help you, myairbags.com. Now's the time to give us a big like Subscribe to our channel. We have more videos just like this. Comment. I really enjoy reading your comments. This is Eli with myairbags.com. Save time and money on your next project.